Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6334 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 27 moves to clear out 144 jelly, and then also clear out 20 licorice swirls in 25 frosting. Uh, I can see bits and pieces of conveyor belts behind here. I see a key that's separating these guys. There's a chasm of these cutouts, and then also frosting in sugar chests and licorice locks. A lot of barriers to get through. I do have stripes coming down. Ooh, and they are very generous. They're coming down quickly. But if I can't get through to here, I don't know how I'm going to be able to handle this. Let's make wrapped candies. Wrapped candies are best for the licorice. Stripes work fairly well. Ooh, stripe draft combo. Yeah, I'll take it. It covers a lot of ground. I'm also going to try to get down through the frosting because look what's happening. I'm starting to populate this area with things that may be helpful so that I can try to get into this area. Okay, let's set off as much as we can. There we go. I can work my way over to here, but notice that we only have one yellow on the board. So... I'm not going to be able to collect that. I'm going to have to use a um, a special to hit it. So I have to create or locate a special that will work. Maybe this guy. Oops, nope, not that guy. Oh, here we go. Maybe. So I do this and it sets off a series of things. All right, so I've got all of the licorice collected that I need. Now I've got to get the frosting and the jelly. And that's a lot of work for just a few moves left. Now I actually don't have to get the rest of the frosting that's on the board as long as it's not covering over the jelly. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It depends on how the conveyor belt goes. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done. That's a lot of work. I feel fortunate that I was at least able to get through the first portion of this to see if I could figure out how the level works. Now I understand it, but I don't know that I can clear out all of the nooks and crannies here, the little crevices. The good news is this will show me where I need to work. So it looks like, I mean, what you would expect right along these areas where we don't have a lot of ability to reach. I could do a couple of different things. Of course, I could make a color bomb, but I only have one move, so I can't use the color bomb. I could do, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this stripe drift combo aimed here to hit this layer. And then it's also going to take this out, which is then going to concentrate this, hitting this, and then hitting this again, and making a bit of chaos on the board. So I end up with three. One, two, it's hard to tell. One, two, I can't see. But somewhere along this ridge, oh, I think it's just one, two, three, actually. That's where the jelly is. Not surprising, it's along this candy cane fence ridge, and most of it is up high, I think. All right, so that gives me my marching orders for my next attempts. It is a hard level, so I'll probably be here for a while. I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share.
Okay, three moves, two jelly, one, two. We've reduced this one down to one layer now, but we don't have the internal area that we need. Okay, so now we've got something. I can do this, or I can aim to do this. I'm going to go for the aiming part. The orange is going to come, oh, the red is going to come over here. I think I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to try to drop these guys down. All right, so that works. I can aim and hit here and here. So that's how I finish off this level. All right, done. Just wanted to make sure I was right on track. So that one took me, I kind of lost track. It took a break between, but I think it was about 15 to 20 tries. It it wasn't as bad as some of the levels I've faced recently, including some supposedly normal levels, but it takes a few tries to get this done. Uh, in my opinion, hopefully you'll get lucky and you won't have to deal with it at all. But there are intricacies. The biggest thing is once you get to the end, uh, you know, if you've been able to sufficiently put together a few um, combos in the beginning to clear out that lower right hand side, then it's all about knowing where those jelly are and going for those specifically. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.